Hey there, it's Dr. Kevin Lewis, your local Greenville injury and wellness expert. I hope you're having a great night. Um, so today a patient asked me a, a question, what chiropractor works to midnight? And you probably noticed if you've been following my videos at all, especially if you've been following them live, uh, usually I go live on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. And, um, and then a lot of you watch these videos if you've been following them uh, throughout the week. So usually I'm placing these videos um, at Wednesdays at 1 p.m. But today was just such a slam day, we didn't even have time to take lunch, much less do a Facebook Live video. So we, we had to skip through, work straight through lunch to take care of all of our patients. And so what do I mean when I say, what chiropractor works till, till midnight? Well, it's uh, currently 7.13 on, on Wednesday evening, and um, I'm still here, here at the office. And so what ends up happening after we examine a patient and shoot a motion study x-ray, is I can spend anywhere to four or five hours analyzing those films. And one thing that's important to me is that we make treatment times as reasonable as possible for the patient so that we don't keep them waiting for long uh, appointment times, waiting um, to see the doctor. So we try to keep uh, those appointment times down. So I pull the administrative side of things, the paperwork, the analyzing x-rays, um, those kind of things, going over, pouring over exam results, I pull them outside of the treatment time so you don't have to wait on me, and we do it later. Unfortunately, that means I still work 70 to 90 hours a week like most doctors do, uh, but I have to do it late at night. So my wife's at home with the uh, four, uh, soon to be five kids, taking care of them while I work on x-rays, um, patient files, and reports to get ready for the next day. Another key component, many of you have asked me about injury care and what happens if you've been in an accident, but a key component of, of injury care is not only getting the patient better, uh, getting them back to their life so they're happy, healthy, living life that they want to live, but it's proper documentation. As you can see, when I'm done treating a patient, um, we take their file and we write up a lengthy report. Um, in many cases, that report can be two, three, or even 400 pages by the time we're done. That way that any litigating parties involved, uh, insurance companies or adjusters, have a good thorough documentation of the type of treatment that was rendered to the patient and how the patient progressed their care and got better. So it's not only important to me that the patient gets better, which is, is my number one concern, but also that we document that well and we have a great uh, um, uh, report for the patient when we're finished. So um, I have to work late at night to get those reports written um, and get those written up uh, in a timely manner for those that, that need those. So here at our office, we, we treat and see patients Monday through Thursday. Fridays and Saturdays are reserved for writing those reports and getting those reports taken care of. So here I am uh, after 7 p.m. on a Wednesday night. I'm gonna be writing reports probably till well after midnight to get these things caught up um, and ready for the patients for next week. So hope that uh, helps you understand how things work in our office a little bit. Um, we pull this time out so that uh, patient, uh, the treatment is convenient for your patient, uh, for our patients, and that they can get the results they want without every appointment taking an hour, hour and a half. Um, we try to keep it shorter and quicker in duration. So we do that. So I'm going to get back to pouring over these x-rays and seeing how we can help this patient. If you have any concerns or questions about uh, you or any family members or loved ones, post them, uh, those questions in the comments below and we'll see if we can answer those and give you um, uh, some good answers on that. If you know somebody, um, make sure you give them our information. We'd love to see what we can do to help them out. Um, I make one promise to all my patients. If I can't help them, uh, I'll find someone that can. I hope you guys have a great night. I um, hope you have a nice relaxed evening with your family and we'll see you here next Wednesday, uh, which will be our last post before uh, Christmas. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.